part of our series, Let's Go NEO, we try to take you to all of the cool spots in Northeast Ohio. And this one tonight is for those beer lovers who are looking for an IPA or stout this fall. News 5's Nadine Nabusada takes us to a taste of the tours of Great Lake Brewery Company. In the heart of Ohio City is Great Lakes Brewing Company. For behind those brick walls is Steve Foreman. <laughs> math was the only thing I was ever good at. A mathematician. So you decided to make beer with it. Right, yeah. <laughs> and a pub brewer where it's safe to say beer. When I was younger, there was a lot of Great Lakes has been in me. Now, you know, once or twice a week. Runs through his veins. Beer is my life for the most part. If I'm not at home, I'm doing something with beer. On this side here. Steve has spent more than a decade our, creating uh, an assortment my, of beers uh, from their Great Lakes kind of IPA different. to their Haze Craft and Crush Worthy. Anything I can bring you, can you make a beer out of it? Mm, for the most part, I, I, I could figure something out. Though the recipes are top secret. Wait, do you have the recipe for Christmas ale? I do. Would you share it with me? <laughs> <laughs> no. This is the original system. He brews them in a machine that dates back to the Great Lakes first sweet malty Dortmunder. This is our brew house number one seven barrel system that Pat and Dan started with uh, back in 1988. I'm really the only one who 99% of the time brews on it. I start here with my water and my grain. In that system, Steve will experiment, test, and try all kinds of new recipes. That will come back over. And if it's a good batch, it'll make it to the draft. Lighter, citrus wheat. What starts off as simply beer tested at the pub, oh, that's a nice little pour, will soon be the cans and bottles that you see at the grocery store. Which are made right across the street from the pub where they're brewing more than 75 barrels. We have two brews going right now. We have an oatmeal stout um, that is in the kettle and then we're uh, starting at uh, Dortmunder Gold. Of frothy, Goodness. In other words, it's a lot of beer. <laughs> yes, it's a lot of beer. Doing everything Steve would do. All we're doing here is we're adding water with the grain. Mm, you can smell it. Just at a bigger scale. We're separating the husk from the actual liquid that we want. And before you know it, Ooh. that beer is on the draft, in a can, or in a bottle, straight from the brewer to the brewery. One, two, three. The Great Lakes IPA. Half of that started over here. Uh, with recipes, yeah. And then we worked on that one for a while. Making Steve proud of what he does. I never thought I'd be doing this crazy of a thing, like so, such a big deal for such a big company. Reminding everyone. Drink more. Reporting in Ohio City. Drink more beer. Adino Busada, News 5. You know, we aren't beer people. We're more wine. We are wine, wine people. Why did you send me out to do the wine story? I think they started to harvest the grapes out in the Grand River Valley out east. Of really? Lake okay. County. Yeah. So okay. they're starting to bring the grapes in. I still have to get out to wine country. Yes, now. you do. You're missing out, man. I'll set you up. Get you me together then. You're ready. Okay.